welcome to the first championship 2025. We are in the Milstein division in Frog Forces Pit. Yay! On our plane, it got delayed by eight hours. So we arrived at Houston at like 3 a.m. We traveled 1,300 miles. Luckily, the bus drivers were moving pretty fast. We were taking, we were anticipating like 27 hours, 26 hours, but to make it in 24 was pretty cool. And it's really exciting for them to be here to show off their skills amongst teams that perform at their highest level too. And we're here at Worlds with uh, 600 of the world's best teams here, um, seeing how we stack up. This is where it feels like um, we're part of something bigger because we're exposed to like so many more different robots, different people. There's you know, maybe I think around 50,000 people here, 600 teams. Uh, just the scope of it is hard to put into words. They have eight fields, each with 75 teams. It's four days long and it's very chaotic. As a robotics nerd, um, at home we're always talking about all these really great teams and then being here we just like these pits are like right next to us and it's so like cool it's like it's like seeing a celebrity. We knew going into the last day at States we needed to acquire a certain amount of points. We had kind of done the math in our heads and figured out we needed to kind of make it to that third, fourth round of the playoffs to have a shot to make it to Worlds. Um, and, and we did, you know, kind of exactly what we needed to. We, we, we finished like 70th in the state, so uh, top 80 made it. So we, we knew what we had to do and we were able to kind of to get it. This was our, our team's actual 30th year uh, competing and also our 30th year making the World Championship. We've really never not made states within the history of our teams. Actually missed the cutoff by just three spots, which was terrifying, terrible. I hope we really clutch up now. At States, we've proven that we could rank really high, and at Worlds, we want to do the same thing. So it's kind of just perfecting what we have already and, you know, making minor adjustments. You know, coming out of Pontiac, we're kind of underprivileged in a way. Walking out of States, the money situation wasn't great. Last year, we were able to, to raise the money that we needed, no problem. Um, this year going in, we had a couple other sponsors that said they were going to give us money and kind of couldn't deliver for, for whatever reason. Funding gets cut, stuff like that. It's understandable, but um, yeah, it, was, it was tense for a while. We, we knew we qualified and it was immediately just going into uh, how do we raise this money and, and, and luckily we had great support from, from our community, from our companies, the, the GoFundMe and everything. And it, it was huge just to get us here and we're, we're incredibly thankful for that. From states to worlds, we wanted to start perfecting certain things. So we added a couple of things onto our climber, which helped it, you know, get a faster climb. Because previously, we used to have maybe 25 second climbs close to that. But now, we, our fastest climb was probably around nine seconds. And that's really good, because that last couple of seconds allows you to score a couple more coral. We were predicted to rank 39th, I think. But after we flipped a couple matches, after we've gotten more RP than um, we were expected to, because of the changes that we've made between states and worlds, uh, we've been able to perform a lot better than we were expected to. And now we're currently seventh, so. We know that we're not competitive enough to be one of the number one teams in the division. So we want to fill a role. We want to be capable of putting up some points and fulfilling a, a, a meaningful role on a team. Similar to what we did in States, we weren't a high-level, high-ranking robot, but we still went into that team, filled a role, and put up high scores. Wednesday is a bit more of a free day for us since we don't do uh, anything other than practice matches, but us, the awards team, got to shine a little bit. We were up on the third floor running a conference about the Novi Robotics Boosters Pipeline, which had 50 teams in the overall like 13 years that we've been alive. We've got lots of questions, made a great document. So I think that's a win for us on our side. Yesterday was uh, just practice matches, so today was all of the qualification matches. So it's definitely a lot more chaotic, but when you get on the field, you have to be in the zone. You have to focus on yourself and see how you can perform the best. Today we're just kind of playing a bunch of matches, you know, getting those ranking points, hopefully, and trying to rank as high as possible before playoffs. In uh, the practice matches, we were able to find some issues that we had and resolve those before it got to a real match. 
So we haven't had any major issues so far in the event. Hopefully that stays true. Strategy, I think, is one of uh, the most fun parts of the competition. And strategy d definitely depends uh, per match because it depends who your alliance like, partners are, who your um, opponents are, and sort of you kind of take it from there. We have a very, very good strategy team. They, they scouted a lot of matches, a lot of pre-scouting matches. Before this competition, I think we pre-scouted about 752 um, matches and that contributed a lot to our performance here because we have so much data on opposite teams. Since we're a robot that can do almost everything, we try to be the filler robot. So if one, one robot can't do level 4 or 3, we'll take that. And if one is better at um, offense, we'll take over for defense. It's really more being a filler robot and seeing how we can complement our alliance. We've had uh, you know, kind of the ups and downs in the event, but right now we're doing really well. I believe we're in seventh position. Um, that's out of, there's 75 teams in our division. So that's, that's really good. I think the, the students are really excited about that. Um, we'll see where we end up at the end of the day, because things can always change, but hopefully we get picked in playoffs. If that happens, that'd be really huge um, for the team.